Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again. Another episode of my Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode playthrough, and I managed to get shot by Blaze. So we have projectiles unlocked, a uh, bolt I just need theories for, and now I can also learn plan. Okay. I also have Arcane Mine, which I never really use, and then Focus Medium, Spell Bat. Yeah, I actually managed to scan a uh, a fire bat in the nether, which unlocked that one. Now, quite a bit of time has passed, and this has not gained any mana from the Band of Aura. Also, my elytra's kind of broke. So, go over here. Wow, really? Three should repair it all the way, right? No, it takes four. Man. I mean, not a problem, just a lot of back and forth. There we go. Oh, yep, of course it's nighttime. Alright. So, got that taken care of. I really should, though. Get a little bit of alchemy questing done. Uh, this one here it makes it easier to get certain materials, whatnot. Uh, yeah, that's going to require a lot of crystals. Is the problem? All right. All right, so with that armor stand got knocked down. And actually, it looks like... Did the armor stand actually get obliterated? I think it did. So does this one. Armor stand is gone from the creeper blast. Okay. And then this one over here got shot. Not on me. In the armor stand. There we go. Alright, so... That's a shame. I need to rethink that, I think. Oh, and this one got shot as well. I think I noticed that. Right. Yeah, if I'm going to be displaying suits of armor, probably best not out where there, you know, there are creepers. Alright, let's go ahead and get that stuff put away for now, then. I think I need to... Yeah, dairy. Okay. Alright, let's get that put away. Almost there. Alright, and done. Okay. So, relatively sorted out a little bit, right? Hey, now we got mana, though. So this can sit here in my inventory. And we are good to go. Alright, well... Now that... Hopefully everybody is gone. I really should have known better than to try to come out here middle of the night. Grab one of each of those. Go ahead and complete it. Items will be consumed. Yep. So, I need all of these crystals. <laughs> and you can't hand them in one at a time. You have to get one of each of those in your inventory. Which, I'll take care of that off camera because it's a nuisance. And... We don't really need to get into that part of the, uh, the questing yet. Uh, one thing we should do, though, maybe look at Astral, right? Or maybe Batania, actually. Batania's got a lot of the fun stuff. So let's go look at our gate. Here we go. Petal Apothecary takes a mystical white flower and a luminous crafting table. Okay. A flower petal. So do I have... Any white petals? It doesn't look like it now. Duh. Yeah. Cyan, orange, and purple. Alright, that's why I had this thing, though. 
So there's that. I need four regular cobblestone and a couple slabs. Okay. And I can just do that. Now, do I have my resonating wand on? I do. Nice. That'll help a little bit anyway. At least we can get our Petal Apothecary up and running. Any minute now. Does take a while. Custom recipes do seem to take longer for some reason. Up, oh, ding, done. And we have our Batania gate done. So, oh, and Mystical Agriculture gate too. Which I got as a quest reward. Oh, hey, it gives me a flower pouch. Nice. That's useful. And then this will give me either those are tier two Inferiums or one infusion crystal. Um, yeah, I don't really need an Inferium right now, so I guess we'll go with the infusion crystal. Really, this one, that's the one thing on that list I can't make right now. And then our blood magic gate requires enchanted fabric and redstone root and mana steel. Enchanted fabric. Well, Thumbcraft, right? So it's four string and a wool. Glassy Tiger. What does that one look like? Oh, look at you. I did pick it up. It just looked like it like soared off to the left-hand side of the screen. It was like, okay, where'd you go? And then I noticed the pickup modifier had to take that I'd picked it up, so. Alright, so, well, there's one of those, and this box is getting really full. Not much I can do about it right this second, though. There's that, and you can go there. And you can go in there. There we go. So we need to be able to get to mana steel for this. Okay, this is just grass plus redstone, so not a problem there. And I think we should be okay though on the uh, mana steel. Uh, yeah, I've got 13 of it. I only need four for recipe. Probably gonna need a couple of the uh, recipes of snares though. But let's go ahead and look at our Batania stuff here. And... Doo -doo -doo, Batania. Go. And this will give me a 16 floral fertilizer and a Lexica Batania. Awesome. And there's our Petal Apothecary quest, which gives us some levels. And now it's like, hey, you need Endoflames and Hopper Hawks and a Pure Daisy. Pure Daisy? That's easy as can be to get, right? So hear me. Keep these from... Yeah, that'll work, I guess. And two seeds. Yep, there we go. Let's just go ahead and do that for now. And... I really do need an infinite water supply over... I'm going to do Batania stuff right here. Yeah. Probably get some some water going. So if I grab then this instead. Hmm. I just forced water the goat. It it made it happy. Okay.
There we go. And... There we go. Cool thing makes it easy to automate this is you can actually just toss the uh, water bucket on top of here. There we go. There's one. And it just says right click with empty hand, add back last recipe. And then all you gotta do is that. I might as well just go ahead and do that though. Alright. So we have our pure daisies. Gives us eight pistons. That's not bad actually. They're just enough of a pain to make that it's kind of nice having a little a few extras. They can go in here with the 25 I've already gotten. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop that off. Now after pure daisy, it's like uh and we need living rock and we need living wood. Which, by the way, let's look at these, right? Living wood is made from infused wood from Astral Sorcery. But you get that by dropping logs into liquid starlight. Living rock, on the other hand, is made from arcane stone. So, grab half a stack of that. Uh, just grab a stack, really. And I should have... Uh, yeah, I've got some jungle wood here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another aquamarine while I'm down here. Should look at ways of automating the uh, liquid starlight production here, eventually. Oh yeah, I forgot this is still here. So, there we go. And the bucket of uh, fluid here never gets used up, so. Alright, let's go ahead and get you down here. And do this, and you can take accelerate the pure daisy to speed up the transmutation. It takes a minute otherwise. It's not not terrible. I do love how the infused wood looks too, though. So. Come on, anytime now. Do 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 do. Takes a minute, but it always seems so much longer when we're doing this. So I just need one of each, I think, for now. Quest wise, anyway. Now, this thing has a harvest level of lead. So if you've been going this far with a, uh, like, say, a flint pick or whatever, yeah, you'll need to upgrade it. And same with Living Rock. Same harvest level. So, Manifold will be our next thing, right? Gotta have a place to store mana. Which requires a white petal block. Requires a light gray petal block, a diluted mana pool, which requires light blue dye of some flavor, and living rock, and a rock crystal. So, we're going to need a bit of this, right? And do I still have my wand on me? Or did I ever make a builder's wand? Nah, I don't think I did. Probably should make one of these, really. It does make it easier to uh, place the blocks down if you do it the right way. So let's just go ahead and... Oh, that's right. Your compressed diamond and living wood twigs for some weird reason. 
and living with tweaks for all the wands. I have no idea why my nailer did that. Oh, well. But let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to need a couple lapis here. And do I have any bone meal still? I do. It'll be in here. And the answer to that question is no. Okay. There's our light blue dye. So we can go ahead and at least make the, uh, the diluted pool. Which does work as a mana pool by itself. Just doesn't hold anywhere near as much. Now, light gray though. That's one thing I'm... I have got one light gray flower. Okay. So we're going to have to grow some more of those. Not the end of the world. It's relatively easy. So... And while I'm at it, actually... Didn't the spreader require... Yeah, lime petal blocks, which is... Nine lime petals. Also a glimmering living wood, which is... That's pretty easy to get when you get down to it. Illumination powder, though. That's a different story. We need night orc for this. Which, well, I did end up making a single piece of night orc already. So, I need two aquamarine and six glowstone. Okay. Uh, nope, not that one. This one... You know what? I'm gonna sleep real quick. Come on, here we go. And that going. Let's go ahead and harvest this. Oh hi. No. But if you have a building wand, which honestly I could get right now without a problem, uh, you just place a layer of these blocks in the ground. You know, one layer down. Ow. Leopard lacewing. Thought I just heard another bow being drawn. I eh, guess not. Uh, but then you can just right click on the existing blocks with a wand and it'll be the thing you want. So. Over here is probably as good a spot as any. Alright, so I need my light gray, please. Get a couple petals. And do I still have them on me? I do. My shears. Must have. Yeah, just plant the petals, bone meal, go to town with some shears. And it has to be bone mealed or something similar. Uh, you can't just let it, you know, wait. You can't just, let, you know, sit it there and wait for it to pop up on its own. This won't happen. Guy. I am glad you know where the door is. Quit blocking it. Thank you. And we'll just do that, right? So there is our light gray petal block. There's one. Now I also need a white petal block. So I'm going to need this. And my inventory is now rather full. Uh, let's go ahead and get some of the stuff out of here, I think. Yeah, that'll work for now, I think. Uh, that can go away, too. And that, and that. Okay. So I need four more of the uh, white flowers now. Alright, so it was, I think, white and light gray like that. Diluted pool. 
Wing rock, and then I needed a rock crystal. One of these. Doesn't really matter which one you use. Unless you plan on turning this into like a sword or something right now. But, uh. And then we needed a lime as well, right? Five of those. Mana steel quest complete as well, because I found them in the uh, dungeons. Do so you go there, there. What was in the back? More living wood, okay. Living wood, and then I just need two pieces of glowstone. And one, two. There we go. And in you go. There is our mana spreader. And can I get that and that for right now? And we'll put that lime away. So I'm going to need brown petals and some red petals for what's coming up next. Also, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get a couple of these. And then can I get... Eh, it'll work for now. Up, oh, here we go. And we'll have our mana pool here, I think, right? Be a good spot for it. Mana spreader. Oh, I still need to make a uh, a wand. So let's go one, two, three. And yeah, we'll just make it a light gray, I think, right? Wand of the forest. There we go. Alright. So, using this, shift right click. First on the spider, then the pool. That lines it up just like you want it to be. And now over here, I want to make some endo flames. Probably the easiest flower to start off with, really, when you get down to it. It's, uh... Basically just takes furnace fuel. Anything except for a lava bucket is fair game. But that also requires light gray. There we go. And then we can just do this. And then I can plant these little buddies down, say... But there and there. Can't remember if the inefficiency is still a problem or not. But it used to be if you put endoflames too close together, they would become worse, pretty much, be the best way to put it. But you can see here there's a little picture of the mana spreader with a check mark next to it. If you place the endoflames after the spreader is placed, they will automatically link up to the closest spreader. And now we just give these guys some uh cool. Oh. There we go. And you can see they're working now. And this thing's like collecting mana, and when it gets enough in there, it fires off a burst and throws mana into the pool. Now, one thing we could also do is I've got a little bit of mana saved up in here. And, oh, not quite. Looks like it's not going to let me empty it out all the way. Oh, well. But uh, if you have the mana or a band of mana or whatever on hand, you can use that to fill your pools up as well. It does kind of help. Uh, you know, let's get another round of this uh, taken care of here. And, hop. and we'll just go ahead and come on down here and start opening up these crates, right? Because I'm going to have a few of them coming in. So Living Rock, Flux Electrum Block. Okay, not bad. Not very useful right this second, but not bad. Okay, the End of Flame, Factory Blocks from Chiseled. Okay. Uh, let's see, Wand of the Forest. Here we go. Manaseer Monocle. 
hold shift for more information. Yeah, it just basically tells you. Yeah, aspects. Uh, this actually lets you see like the area of effect of flowers and whatnot. It is, however, charm. So it has to go right there in your bubbles. But it's kind of nice having around, and it did complete a uh, another quest for us, so that's definitely a plus there. So mana spreader. Pig iron times eight. That's actually kind of handy, because pig iron, it's a bit of a pain to automate. But All right, living wood got us an axe of the wyvern from Draconic Evolution. Okay, then. I didn't realize you could get Draconic tools. That, that is an in-game item right there. Lit redstone lamps. Oh, yeah, that's the thing from... Uh, cork in this edition it's basically just a redstone lamp plus a torch and they're always lit without needing a uh, redstone signal it's kind of nice so mana steel compact cobblestone generator produces 64 cobblestone per second constantly this is what the tier two yeah the tier three does 512 the dense and you need eight of these tier twos to make a tier three that actually could be really good cobblestone generator definitely coming in handy then we have our mana seer mana seer monocle gives us some blts which and why is there never cheese on a blt uh let's go ahead and Mm, nah. Ice cream. There we go. 1.5% dairy per, per meal. So, works for me. Alright, I think that was all the quests done here. So, we can make mana steel now. Uh, to make that, you just drop iron into a mana pool with enough mana in it. And you get mana steel back. So it's going to take a little while for us to uh, to get enough mana to do that. All right. That was odd. And these guys are still burning. So what I could do, though, unless a zombie picks them up or whatever, just go ahead and put those right there. And as long as the end of flames are... Looking for fuel before they despawn, everything should be fine. So I need a way to charge things though. RF. Hmm. What is an option right now? Because I don't have a way of doing that. Oh, also, how much of a mess is that going on over here? Okay, now you're kind of sort of keeping up. It's not bad. How are you doing over here? Oh, wow. You're almost completely caught up on seeds. No, no, no. You jerk. Well, uh, yeah. Dang it. Can I get... Okay, yeah. Still picking him up. It's just not, uh, depositing. Oh, you guys just... Shove off. There it goes. All right, cool. And then over here, it's stuck again. I've got two full drums of this stuff. And everything's kind of backed up. So... I never did get that dynamic tank built. Go away. Let's uh go check out our steel. How much steel do we have? We have 292, actually. That's probably enough. So at Mac. 
dynamic tank. And then, yeah, it's just a bucket. Plus four steel. Okay. Uh, bucket. Just gonna make a few extras because I can. You always need buckets, honestly. So that is one casing there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and... We're going to need a decent amount of this, aren't we? Let's see, what, five more buckets now? Here, let's put you in there. I can go in there too, I guess. Go ahead and grab a stack of this. Tank, boom. That'll get us 36 of those, and then we need uh, structural glass. All right. Which was just glass in the middle. So let's go ahead and just grab like... Yeah, eight should do it, I think, right? That'll let us use up the full stack of steel anyway, and then we can kind of sort of go from there. And now, isn't there like a valve that I need to put in as well? Dynamic valve. Oh, oh. Wait a second. It can use regular electronic circuits, though. That's that's a big help, actually. All right. Oh, I did have some copper wire left, even. There's that. Uh, one of you. Two of you, and then four of you. So... Go ahead and do it this way, because otherwise I have to get into mechanism to do all this, and I just don't feel like it right this second. All right, circuit, boom. Oh no, it's dynamic tank blocks, not just steel, which is a shame. But uh, here, and that'll get us two valves. All right. So let's get this thing, I guess, started up. That is arcane stone. By the way, the mechanism multi block things don't make a sound whenever you place them against other uh, parts of the multi block. It's really odd the first time it happens. Actually, do like that, and we'll do then glass can go here. Now I'm going to need what three, six, ten. So I could go one layer higher. Dang it, up there. And one, two. Now I just need these valves that I made. One valve can go there. And one valve can go there. The red sparkles means it's fully formed. And I need my mechanical bag. Get an ender fluid conduit. It's got the fastest flow rate to it as well. Uh, max extract is 500 millibuckets per tick. Which, when you multiply that by two, should be pretty decent. And this thing will hold. It's got a volume of 60. Uh, never was really quite clear what this translates into. But, uh, yeah, it's barely, barely filled up there. I mean, look at it from over here. It's, yeah. We can store quite a bit of this in powered canola, or crystallized oil, I should say. And now I just need to reset this thing here.
Which this is just a bugger. Whenever this happens, the honest to god, the easiest way to do this is you just grab this, right? Uh, let's see, we're still there. We go. Fill mode. Did I just pick? I did. Dang it. I wonder. Ah, yeah, here we go. There we are. And both of those jumps together, and it's not even up to a quarter of the way full. So, we should be good for a while. And now this thing is working overtime. So all this stuff should be kicking back into gear now. Yep. Means we should see this thing starting to empty out a bit. Which, not too bad, actually. All right. Well, that wasn't any actual quest, but it was something we did need to get done. So uh, let's go back to nuclear craft here. I need to make this advanced plating, which requires tough alloy, which we can actually now make. All right, alloy furnace. That is lithium plus ferroboron. Ferroboron is boron plus steel, right? Grab 16 of these. There we go. We'll grab, say, 16 of these, and then we'll grab 32 of this. And I should probably go check on my endo flames. They are done. So, there you go. We can have some more. And, uh, now, this isn't really helping that much with the uh, way to charge this thing up. But it is something I've been needing for a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is, I need another RTG so I can set up my IC2 steel machine, which we'll be doing next episode. And, well, RTGs need the advanced plating. Uh, let's see. I don't think nuclear craft actually has a way of charging, does it? Oh, there's the fusion core. It just, you know, needs elite plating. Yeah, that's a fun... That'll be a one or two episode project all by itself. The voltaic piles. This is just the power storage. I don't think... You can charge with those, though. Right, there's lithium ion batteries. I don't think they are and you can charge with either. Alright, well, that's a shame. So there is the charger, wire charger, that requires and Rio one requires a simple machine chassis. There is a charger from open computers. Yeah. Honestly, our best bet, probably the only one we can actually make right now, is the charging station from Immersive Engineering. And yeah, that's the thing. But so we should have our tough alloy now. We just need basic plating, which is a bunch of lead and some graphite. Now, unfortunately, I cannot put graphite through that furnace. Resistance 2. Hmm. That's actually not bad. Uh, the reason being, as soon as it hits this furnace, this conduit starts extracting it out to here. So, I, unfortunately, I can't do that recipe there. But, do the rest of them without a problem. Now, there are a few that are slightly problematic at times, but nothing, nothing major. All right, so got our graphite coming in. I'll just go ahead and put this stuff away as well. And I need to look at it, uh, getting some early game automations done. Not you, though. And how you doing? Yeah. 
Cool thing. Uh, one thing would be nice is if I could get those uh, set up to automatically be producing for me. The pure daisies over there. Uh, maybe some way of automatically producing like red coal or even charcoal would be good for the, uh, the end of flames for right now. And uh, there's a few other things as well, but I think that's the main two that are more of an issue right now. I mean, I do have somewhat automated ore processing. So, and that works out. But yeah, I need to kind of step up my game a little bit here. I'm I'm falling behind. Uh, let's put that away in here. But uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.